Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an outro using Share Factory on your PlayStation 4. Let's jump into the video right now. Alright, the first thing we need to do is go to video and start a new project. I'm just going to use the Black Ops 4 theme and this is all good right now. I'm going to go ahead and select OK and I'm going to rename the project to Outro. Now I'm going to delete some of the unnecessary clips that I have on here. I don't need them. Now what you're going to want to do is add two clips to your scene. First you're going to want to add one to your main timeline here and then you're going to go to edit track two and add one to your second timeline. So I'm going to add two clips here that I have from playing Black Ops. This one's 34 seconds long. Now these are just going to be t uh, pretty much placeholders for your end screen uh, when you go back into YouTube at the end of editing everything and uploading everything. Now let's go ahead and add that track two by going to the plus symbol by pressing X. Go over to add track two and let's go ahead and go press the X button again. Go to add clip and I'm just gonna pick something uh, from Black Ops that's about 30 seconds long again. Uh, how about this one? Okay and then after that we're gonna wanna make sure everything is set to zero for clip volume just to make sure there's no sound coming from those clips. So you want to do that under your add track two settings. Then on your main clip settings, go over to clip volume and go ahead and make sure that's zero. So this is kind of how it's going to look once we back out to everything. Uh, then we're going to want to go to edit track two again. And we're going to want to put the PIP layout to side by side. This is going to get you that kind of traditional outro kind of look to it. So we have one clip on the right, one clip on the left here. Now the background I have right now is kind of hideous. Let's go ahead and change that by going to the tool by pressing square, edit track two, and then we're gonna to wanna to replace the background on it, the PIP background. Let's go ahead and replace that here. And we have quite a few different options. Um, some of the solid color, the gradient, the head cubes. I was thinking actually of using the stars right here. You can go ahead and go to your internet browser and take um, pictures from Google and go ahead and just upload them to here. That's how I have these pictures right here. And I'm, I th I'm thinking just the stars one is kind of cool. It gives a nice visual effect in the background. Now I'm going to go ahead and edit the background just a little bit more by going to the tool. Once again, edit track to uh, the tool again. Uh, go to the PIP backdrop. And you'll see there's actually a settings option right here. Let's go ahead and look at that. We can make the nebula just a little bit darker. You can make it all the way dark. Let's go right about here and slow it down a little bit and maybe increase the density. So let's go ahead and confirm that once we get to about 75 and back on and just see how that changes it. All right, so it's a little bit different, a little bit more customizable. So we have the background the way we run, the video clips that we want in there. What we're gonna to wanna to do is make the clip around 10 seconds long for our outro. So make sure you split the clip on the timeline and then you wanna to go to edit track two and split the track that's on there too right now. So let's go to split, go to 10 seconds and uh, let's make sure we split it right here and it's split, delete the rest. So we have our video that's about 10 seconds. At this seconds. point, I like to add a shadow around my video clips I have up there. So let's go back to the tool, edit track two. And under here, you'll be able to see the PIP settings. And you'll have an option to display a shadow, display frame. And you can choose the color from here too. Uh, I'm just going to click on the red. But let's go ahead and back on. I'll kind of show you what it looks like. So that's what it is. Now, however, from this position, we cannot add text and move it around the screen and position it where we want. It's going to go on to one of the videos and it won't go in the black background. So to get around this step, what we're going to want to do is to upload, I mean, to export the clip that we have right now to our gallery. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, save project and then export it to gallery. Now let's back out and start up a new project. So I started up a new project. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this stuff again. And here's the video clip we just did. Now from here, we can actually add text. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Uh, I'm gonna go about one millisecond in here 
and then press X and let's go to add overlay. I like the third text down just because it does have a black outline. Uh, you do have a bunch of other options down here, but the one with the black outline I see myself using the most. Let's go ahead and add. Um, I'm going to add a pro settings video I have already made on Black Ops 4 about how to get the best settings. Now we have that in, let's go ahead and transform it and move it where we want. Now, if we try to do this uh, on the other screen before we export it to the gallery, it would be stuck on one of these video clips and we wouldn't be able to move it around the screen. So we can actually do that now. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. And I think I like it right here on the bottom. Let's go ahead and confirm the position. And let's add some text animations here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the middle one. And I'm going to add a moving drift. Let's back out. And let's go to the other video now. And let's go to uh, recent upload. Recent upload. Let's go ahead and transform and put it under my other video that we have selected. And things are starting to take shape. And let's go ahead and add text animation again. Put drift on the middle one. And there's a bunch of different other ones you can use, but I think I like drift. It's very subtle, but it catches your eye. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and make the duration of my text just a little bit longer. And you just go to square and go to text duration. I think I'm going to make it about eight seconds long here just to give people enough time to look at it. And then I'm going to want to go to my other text and do the same on that one. Make it about eight seconds long. And you can see when the other one cuts off. Let's go ahead and line it up perfectly. There we go. That should be looking good. Now I'm going to add another text. I'm going to go back to the one second mark. Go ahead and go to my X button again. Add overlay. And let's go ahead and add thank you for watching or thanks for watching. All right, so we have the text in there. Let's go ahead and make it about eight seconds long again. Back out and let's go ahead and transform it. And let's make it a little bit smaller. And I think that's looking good right there. And I I think I'm going to go ahead and add some more text animations to it. And maybe put like a fly in or a fade in. And let's go to ending the animation and a fade out. All right, so let's go ahead and back out and I kind of show you what we have all together right now. So it's starting to take place and it's looking pretty good. One thing I did want to point out to you guys, if you went to the tool icon and go to edit overlay, you can actually change the text effects. You can make it a different gradient. You can have it more bold and you can make an outline. So there's tons of different text effects on here. Uh, so you can customize it the way you want. Also, you have the ability to change the color of your text and how visible your text is. Now I was going to add a like and a follow button on my page here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to screenshot again and add that stars effect. And then I'm going to go through and match that up to how I had it before by going to settings and I'm reducing the nebula down to about 25. Think, same thing with the speed and then increasing the destiny a little bit right here. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and add an overlay to it and add a follow button or possibly a subscribe button here. Let's go ahead and at least put a thumbs up right away. So here's a like button. You can go ahead and make that uh, about four seconds long. Go ahead and do it how you want. I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here and add a sticker animation and maybe have it come in and let's go ahead and have it uh, fly in. And at the end, maybe just slide out now i'm going to add a subscribe button so let's go ahead and press x again go down to subscribe now i'm going to keep the duration around four seconds 
Uh, let's transform it and put it around the same location here. That's looking good. Then I'm going to do some sticker animations to it. Maybe do a, a fly in again like I did with the like button. And just do a spin away or slide out. I'm going to go ahead and make the first part a little bit shorter. So it's about three seconds long. Uh, my animation leaves and there's nothing on the clip. So let's go ahead and make it about four seconds long and just make it a little bit shorter so everything runs a little bit smoother. Then after that, I think I'm going to want to go ahead and add a transition and just a, a standard cross fade, I think always looks the best. So this is how it will look. And I'll cross over and fade to my screen to the next section. So we have that the way we want it. Let's go ahead and add some music to our clips. I have one particular song in mind that's called Shiver. And I've been using this a little bit. And I like the, the ending portion of this song right about here. So our clip is about 14 seconds long. So I'm just going to keep that in mind when I split it. And then I'm going to move this to the front so I can line it up a little bit better. And then let's go over here and end the song by going to split again. I don't want to delete, I want to split it and then delete the, the rest of the music off of there. So our video and our music clips uh, line up equally. Let's go ahead and listen to everything now that we have. In now my music is a little bit loud. Let's go ahead and reduce that by going to the tool icon again, edit music and then go to the tool icon again and go over to music volume. Let's lower that to about 50% and let's go ahead and add a fade in and a fade out. So I'm gonna just do it around one second for the fade in and go to about one second for the fade out. So this was a brief demonstration of how you can do this. Once you get everything done, go ahead and export it to your gallery. From here, you can go ahead and copy it to your USB storage device, or you can upload it to your YouTube channel or place it on one of your videos. I'm going to go ahead and copy it to your USB storage device. So I can go ahead and edit this on my computer. So let's go ahead and copy that over now. And if you guys don't do this, it's very easy. You don't need to do it. You can do everything in Share Factory and just add what you just did to one of your clips. And just go ahead and add end screens on your computer later Making on. Making an outro can be done very quickly. I want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you again. This is Tim from Your Six Studios signing out.